Hi everyone, this is H2 Tech Videos, and today I am guest starring. My name is R I C K Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the highly desired Asus Transformer Prime. Now, this tablet is the first quad core ever released out on the market, so it's been getting a lot of buzz, and a lot of people are wondering, well, what's it all about? This first video we're going to show is uh, showing the benefits of Android 3.2, which is what comes with it when you first open it up, and not only the benefits, but how to upgrade it to Android 4.0, which you already can upgrade it if you didn't know. So a couple of the things of uh, people know about Android uh, 3.2 is there's a multi-screen button right at the bottom over here, which what it does is it goes through all the recent apps you've recently opened, and you can actually close this out with Asus's interface, you know, close these apps out. You do it one at a time and, you know, you have to push the X right in that little X or else it won't go through. As well as the same thing when you get a notification, you know, when you get a notification right over here, you can actually exit it out like this, as such. So, these are going to be the main things. The other thing would be, uh, you have a little plus sign to change the things like wallpapers, widgets, apps, and everything right here. And uh, also, you have your all your app drawers over here, and that's about it. That's how Honeycomb kind of works. And that little key is called a home key, which I keep pushing to get back to the main screen. Now, finally, how I'm going to uh, transition this is showing you how to upgrade to Android 4.0, which is pretty simple uh, once you know where to look. So first, we're going to push this little notification button right here, which is you just touch the clock. Time will always answer your questions. Oops, it already kind of went to it. How it would normally be, if you didn't have this popping up like I do right now, is you go to Settings, and you go to About Tablet. Once you go to About Tablet, the very first thing that will appear is System Firmware Update, which mine is already telling me, hey, you know, we have a firmware update. So you would actually just click right up here at the top, kind of hard to see, but it says Check for Update. You would click that, and then you'll download this system update. I'm going to download that now and then show you the rest of the features. I'll see you in a second. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, I have finished the upgrade to Android 4.0, which is now on here. Uh, it, you'll also hear this referred to as ice cream sandwich. And just FYI, the installation process took about 20 minutes, roughly. Uh, um, additional 10 minutes uh, for the downloading process as well depending on your internet connection, of course. And uh, first thing you'll notice is when we hold this uh, unlock button down, you can now actually go directly to the camera. So that's one of the first uh, upgrades that Android 4.0 offers. But in this case, we're just going to go straight to the unlock part itself. And uh, you'll see that um, one thing that uh, Google has definitely improved with Android 4.0 is a brief tutorial on uh, how these things work. So. Right now you're at your home screen, but you can put your favorite apps just by clicking this circle right over here that's outlining for you. And so I'm just going to take you through that process. So it just chooses a random app that's on here, and it'll tell you, you know, hold it down and then just put it on your home screen. Now you have it on your home screen. Uh, to remove it, of course, you just hold it down again. So I'm just holding down this one and removing it. There's a top remove right over here at the top. And when we go back to it, we'll actually see that uh, this time around, the first major thing is if you see at the top right, there's actually a apps Books. and then widgets, which that part is going to be, as soon as you transition to apps, you will immediately go to the widgets. So that's the first change I'm going to show you guys, is when you have apps, it's a lot more animated and a lot more fluent and you have like a nice 3D effect as you can see right here you'll have between them now what we're going to do first of all is just open a bunch of apps to you know bring our multi-screen up so we have a bunch of different ones so I'm just going to go home open up some Angry Birds open up you know Office just open up a couple of different apps we have going on here. So, the first thing you'll notice is when we touch the multi-screen now, that X, 
that little tiny annoying X is no longer there. But what you can do if you want to close one of the recent apps is actually just a swipe. And you can do a swipe either way. Oops. As long as you don't touch the home screen, of course. You can do a swipe either way and just close it just like that. Doesn't matter which way. You can just swipe it and then close it. And that's going to be another upgrade of Android 4.0. Um, now, you might be wondering, well, you don't have that plus sign over there, so how do you get to wallpapers? Well, wallpapers, you actually just hold down, and there's your wallpaper section. So you can actually change your wallpapers just from right here. Right now, we have this uh, nifty little live wallpaper, which is definitely my favorite. It's something exclusive to the Asus Prime, which actually is, you know, you see the little oil going. But the water level will actually tell you your battery life. So as your battery life is going down, the water will go down. And as your battery life is going up, the water will go up. Nice little indication and def definitely pleasant to the eye at any screen. So just definitely really nice and very well off. Very detailed. Um, the other thing is going to be right over here. Uh, let's just go to a nice little notification. Oops, we're actually offline. Uh, sorry, one thing you need to do is uh, sign back into your Wi-Fi when you um, exit off of that. So uh, another thing is your notifications though, will also be able to be swiped as you get a new notification. So instead of again the little X button right there, you'll be able to then swipe there and back and forth. Under your settings though, they are also fine-tuned. Now you can definitely see that it's a lot easier. You have the main things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi at the very top. You have then device section, which you know is your sound, your display, your storage, apps, all that kind of fun stuff. And then the things you use less often like system and uh, personal stuff like accounts. You don't add accounts every day. So all these just really make sense. So it's things you use most often to least often. So those are the major upgrades from Android 3.2 to Android 4.0. Again, 4.0 is often referred to as Ice Cream Sandwich, that is the name for it. And those are going to be the main differences and showed you how to update it and it's definitely an update that's worth it. Next video, we'll show you pros and cons of the Asus Prime. Once again, this is HT, H2 Tech videos and this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.